do we have time for me to take questions or? <laughs> oh, uh, right here. How do you determine uh, yeah. accuracy of the ownership data? And I think you say, how do I determine the accuracy of these claims? Is, yeah. is that, that's actually a really good question, and I know I didn't get into any of that detail. Now, one thing that's fascinating, I did not include in this data model where uh, I actually ha have a plan for creating uh, an idea of an affirmation, uh, where the affirmation is actually going to act like a vote. And that vote is going to be, what you're going to see from that vote is that you can see the, the public address of uh, or the public address of the person who, who signed off on that that affirmation so I um, mean won't, I won't be able to say someone's name but I'm gonna we'll be able to start seeing um, like essentially yeah the history of the votes now the idea is that we're gonna in a localized way um, start analyzing the data and you can start saying, hey, well, this affirmation came from someone nearby in a, in a village, so that should have more weight than, uh, again, Russia's in the news a lot, so um, someone in Russia uh, posting something and affirming uh, a claim or a document. So, um, let's see, I think she was next. So I have a variation on that question, I think, and um, full disclosure, I'm a lawyer, so I think about law things. And um, I think about property disputes, and I think, okay, so but what up, at the end of the day, if I want to enforce my property claim, I'm going to go to court, or some administrator, or somebody, um, to, to, to do this. And I'm wondering if you've sort of thought through, particularly when you've got different kinds of jurisdictions, how would you make this kind of evidence evidence? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really great question and we, we grapple with that a lot. Now, the purpose of the system I'm working on here and that we're going to be uh, prototyping and showing, it, it's more to uh, demonstrate the recordation uh, of the information and we're, we're kind of leaving it in the hands of others to interpret it and determine uh, like validity in the terms of eyes of the law. And, but here, here's my hope. My hope is um, this, this system would end up running parallel to say, uh, say a small county recorder. Okay, and then this county recorder will have their, their records uh, in, in their uh, well, paper or, or centralized digitized form. But in parallel, if we can run this at the same time, then over, what, what, what they're gonna wanna show is that this blockchain based system will be like the same as their system and, uh, and then the hope is that, that the legal basis that a blockchain-backed uh, property record, maybe not necessarily a title, but, but, but the record that it, it's shown that it really happened, uh, will start to uh, gain more, more uh, legal force behind it. So that, that, that's kind of our idea, is that we have no expectations like right off the bat. There's, this is gonna be just about. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, let's. Uh, um, anyway, I want to hand this off to Amy, and she is going to talk about payment system. Right. Right. 